Hello everyone, my name is Tedious and welcome to episode 3 on my Zaya only Iron Man. Last episode I asked for your opinion about two of my exceptions, being the skill capes and the box traps. And I want to thank you all for the responses you gave me. From what I've seen, it seemed like the majority wanted me to just keep both exceptions in place. And I will most likely just get skill capes, as I planned already. But for the hunter part, I figured I can change it a little bit. I've decided that I'll basically be able to continue catching Chinchompas, however, before doing so I have to obtain all of the rewards from aerial fishing including the golden tench, so that will take me at least 100 hours. I think this is a fair rule to implement, so let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Ok, I hope you will enjoy the episode, lots of new stuff to investigate from the Cable Slowlands release, so let's get into it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Okay, so it looks like I forgot to use super compost on this canadine scene because I only got three herbs from it. But I do think that this will put the canadine stack in my bank at over 1000. Here we go, look at that. That looks so nice. I think it's 150 XP per canadine for every super defense potion. So yeah, once we got all those white berries from the farming guild, this is gonna be a lot of XP. Looking forward to it. A 55 mining. Can now mine mithril. Not sure if I'll ever end up doing that though, but yeah, pretty nice, I guess. You know, after getting those 76 rune crafting levels at the library, doing blood rune crafting is so much more relaxing. Yet another rune crafting level coming in, level 79. And yeah, slowly working my way up towards 80 plus, I guess. Pretty chill to do this, like, on and off. Guys, look at that. System update in 7 minutes and 40 seconds. The Kevos Lowlands are arriving very soon. As soon as the update lands, I'm gonna probably check out the farming guild first. I wanna see how the farming contracts work, so... That's what I want to set up first, and then I can <coughs> go explore all, all the other things, so... Yeah, just seven more minutes and then we can delve in into the new content. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, and yesterday I did some more blood rune crafting. I got exactly 10,000 blood rune, so... <laughs> looks pretty clean. But yeah, blood rune crafting is really chill. Definitely something I'll be doing a lot in between different stuff. 110k until level 80, so that's only about a little over 3 more hours, I guess. Whew, 20 seconds left. I just ran over here because farming guild should be pretty close. 8 more seconds, I guess I'll see you guys once the update happens. Oh my god, look at the loading screen. So beautiful. The Gabbles lowlands are here. Let's look at the minimap. Oh wow, that's still a, a long way to run. <laughs> but apparently they added a, an Arceus teleport. Um, yeah, this one right here, the Battlefront teleport. This one takes you to the Battlefront right here. So if I can get some Lao runes, that's a pretty decent way to get to the farming guild. Um, but I don't think I have a lot of Lao runes in the bank at the moment. So for now, let's run straight through this area into the farming guild. Let's go. I swear to god, if I die on the way there, that'll be pretty bad. Ooh, too many lizardmen. Almost there. Oh, there's some frogs over here. Wait a second. That might be interesting, actually. Maybe they, they drop like um, toad legs and then I can use those with my toad flex to make agility potions instead of Cerodomin brews because getting bird nests would be, will be rather difficult because we can only get them from woodcutting so that might be interesting, I have to check that out at some point. We made it to the promised land, the farming guild, look how big it is, holy shit. Hang on, let me toggle roof actually. Look at that, that looks nice. All right, so the first thing I wanna check out is the contracts. So who do I talk to? 
What's this? Garden supplier. Ooh! Bag of trees. That's pretty interesting actually for early level construction training. Not that it's useful for me anymore, but... Amelia, she's got some seeds I'm guessing, yeah. Some low level seeds. Not bad. Um, so I think I have to talk to the Guildmaster Jane over here. Let's see what she has to say. May I help you? Let's see. Do you have any jobs for me? Well, we always need to rotate the crops we're growing to stop the soil from tiring due to the lack of nutrients. It would be great if you could help with that. Yeah. Tell me what to do. Farming contract. Yep, yep. Yep, sounds good. Give me a contract. Oh, so I have to choose a tier. I see. Well, I guess we'll start with an easy contract, see what she gives. Some Terramin. Oh, so you only have to plant one thing. That's interesting, that's easy enough. I've got loads of Terramin seed in the bank. Well, there we go, I guess. That's the Terramin. Should probably get some compost as well. There we go, composted baby. Now we wait. Okay, so let's see what else is there. So there's a master farmer in here as well, which might be cool. I mean, there's already a few in Halcidia, so that doesn't really change anything. This is the anima patch, which I need to get seeds for from other stuff, I guess, but we'll see what that is. What's Arno doing here? Oh, that's for the boss, I guess. The growable demi boss in here, the Hespori. So apparently if you die here, you also get to collect your stuff from an NPC. A tree patch. I'm gonna plant something here in a sec. Um, I'm gonna wait with the U seeds until I have some cactus pines. So for now I'm just gonna plant some willow or maple or maple seeds in here. So let's do that first. What's Alana selling? Oh, she's just a normal farming shop. Okay, fair enough. I'll just use a maple seed. It's whatever. What What's the payment for those? Maples, oranges. Nah, I'm not gonna bother with those. Then in the easy tier, I'm gonna plant one cactus seed, a whiteberry seed. And I guess that's it, because I don't have any allotment seeds right now. Oh wow, they changed this entire thing. What the hell? Need a few of these. Three will do. Boom. The first tree seed ever plant. Oh. <laughs> Right, I need to plant these into plant pots, right? It's been too long since I've grown trees. I forgot how they work. <laughs> well, guess I'll get some plant pots first. All right, I'll take 10 of those. There we go. Oh yeah, I think I need a gardening trowel as well and some watering cans. Maple seedling watered. Oh, they also added a a different image for a watered seedling, that's really good. Because you, you were never able to tell them apart, so <laughs> that's really nice. There we go. Whiteberry bush planted. Go on, Sunny Jim. Grow. Be a big strong cactus and give me your spines. Okay, so the maple sapling also grew. So time to plant this one. Get in there. Boom. First tree ever planted. This is gonna start racking up the farming XP so well. Especially once I start growing my use. Okay, there we go. That's all of these seeds put into the plant pots. Uh, right now I only have my magic seeds left because I'm not 75 farming yet, so I can't turn those into saplings yet, but yeah. There we go, 216 used saplings. Can't wait to use all of those. But the first thing I want to go and take a look at is something that a friend of mine just pointed out. That's this hunter spot right here. Apparently there's a new hunter training area. So that might be interesting. So let's go take a look. Ah yes, interesting troll Jagex. <laughs> Crimson Swifts. What a great hunter spot. I was at least expecting like swamp lizards or something, but no. They add level 1 birds. Very nice. One other thing I want to go and look at is the environment of Mount Karoom. Because there's this mining site and I'm thinking it might have some gold rocks in here. 
Um, there's also a new mining site over here, but this one only has mitral and element ore, so not very special. But I'm gonna take a look at, at this one and also look at the furnace over here. So let's head over there. Look at this poor little oak tree over here, all on its own, on this little island. One like is one prayer. Damn, take a look at this environment. Looks pretty cool. Big ass mountain. Wow, that's actually insane. Look at this. The bank is right here. That's such an improvement. Like, I think this is a one click, yeah. You can just one click the furnace and then back to the bank. Before this, we had to go to Lova Kench. And it's a bit of a further run. But the most important thing is that there's a door in this building that pretty much closes every inventory. So this is a really big improvement as far as smithing and crafting goes. That's really nice. Looks like it's just some iron and coal ore. So I guess the only really useful feature on the mountain is the furnace. Which is a pretty big, big deal to be honest, so I'm not really fussed about that. I guess one other thing that's an improvement now is that you can simply buy the face mask here and also you can get earmuffs so if you want at 15 slayer you can now um, kill banshees easily on Zea. and you also don't need daily grab anymore to get the face mask from the current castle so that's pretty useful as well okay so now i'm gonna make my way over to the aerial fishing spot see how that goes because that's basically the biggest improvement from this update i think next to the farming guild of course so let's give that a go all right let's take this little boaty over to the little island in the middle of the lake look at this wait is there no bank here oh damn all right so we got uh, different rewards here that you can buy from the mulk pearls fishing sack is pretty cool i really want to go for all of these okay so you don't have to pay for this one because at the falconry um, to train hunter you have to pay like 100 gp or something to get a bird looks like that's not the case over here i guess i need some bait what do i do <laughs> how does this work help do i just get some king worms okay Ooh, look at that medium toss completed i got a blue gill oh so you get all of the different fish interesting so you also get the the really low tier fish which gives like barely any xp and it looks like it has a 100 percent success rate every time you click a spot so that's nice compared to falconry where you sometimes don't get the the kill on the cabot you can't cook that oh do i need a knife i guess i need a knife don't i okay yeah so i just checked the update block and you can cut the fish into fish chunks, which the bird will take a chunk every few times. So I guess I'll go and get a knife and then I can train properly. So I'll go to Shazian and I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, there we go. Easy enough. You can even just click one fish and it'll do it for every type of fish. So that's really nice. So I'm gonna get a bird again and I guess I'll do like 30 minutes of this. See how the XP rates end up being. I'm doing this with 91 fishing and 73 hunter by the way so that means i can catch all of the fish up until the second highest tier so we'll see how the xp rates go okay so this is pretty relaxing actually you just have to click all of the spots it feels a bit like whack-a-mole <laughs> if you if you know what that is it's also pretty similar to the rs3 fishing method on the um deep sea platform which is called Fishing Frenzy, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's not too bad. I also found that you can cut the fish while the bird is flying. So that's probably the best way to do it. Um, so you don't lose too much time just cutting the fish. Might just end up doing one hour and see how the rates are. Ooh, looks like I just got my first mulch pearl. Um, I guess they are just some something you get randomly every now and then. So yeah, there's the first one. On to many more. All right, there we go. That's the first hour done at aerial fishing. Um, it looks like I got 
ab about 35k fishing XP, 47k hunter XP and 10k cooking XP in this hour. So with my fishing and hunter level it seems pretty in line with the expected rates in the block. I can probably push for like maybe 50k XP an hour in hunter so it's pretty intensive but it's pretty enjoyable at the same time. And I also got 12 from these pearls in the hour. So with all of the uniques being, I think, oh, it looks like it's 1,370 pearls to get all of the uniques. So it's probably around 120 hours, I think, to get all of them. So yeah, I'll definitely be spending a lot more time here, but I'm gonna go check out some other stuff now. Okay, I think my Theromint patch should be ready now, which I had to plan for the farming contract. So let's see what kind of seeds we're getting from that. And there's these three chests next to each other. 